Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard Drive 163 down by the Rio Grande. How's everybody doing? Pay attention. All right. This isn't for everyone. Be a great spare, emergency, a daily driver, too. You know, something that's like blueprinted and balanced type of thing. Be able to use it for all different scenarios. Of course, you have to understand why you're doing what you're doing. You still have to have a good antenna system, properly grounded, and proper wire for positive and negative. Not no black tape or nothing and crimp connections. You want to do it right. But anyways, let's get started with this. It hasn't been a major request, but I'm hearing it. Jim, this one's for you. More and more people are uh, wanting radios that don't draw any amperage, but they want to do major power. It's like, well, amps and power go together, especially with MOSFET radios. But I understand that you want to use a radio. And I understand, well, I'll say it again, why you want to use a radio. It's respect, I got you. So we spent some time on this. Yeah, I've been working with the 2030s just like the max mod and I'm really liking them so anyways let's get started with this it's a 100 watt plug you can see it's got a pretty good carrier modular carrier let's turn that down Everything else is bullshit. If you can't see that, well, you know what happens. Because right, there she is. And one kilohertz. Can't beat that with a stick. And we'll go to 30 megahertz. There's no IMD, no intermodulus and distortion, or out of band spurs. Pretty damn nice, huh? Keeps the heat way down. Okay, that's at full power. I probably want to see this. Yep, uh, DO, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right, so we're going to turn all the way down. Watts kicking ass. Beautiful signal. I don't know why my laptop just rebooted, but it just did. Okay. Now we're going to uh, take this 15 amp fuse out of here. There might be a water tube drop due to the fact that. Uh, the gauge of these wires but yet this is still the factory 10 amp wires for this meter I just modify them so I can use them in a bunch of different ways so let's uh, fire this thing back up again I didn't show you what it was yet it's a little 447 HPC2 It's been asked, so here I'll show you. That's what it's doing just on. Don't worry about the negatives, just change the wires. I'm going to show negative anymore. So uh, let's see. I was trying to keep these metal objects out of those bare wires, but I'm going to plug this in. And make sure we got some sound. Anyways, as you can see the amperage climb with sound. See it? So in the winter time, or in the summer, there's no need for it in the summer, but just to let you know that it's drawing one half of an amp. There we 
ago. Okay, in the winter time, this regulator and the audio chip, while it's unkeyed, is going to keep this radio not hot but a lot warmer. The exact temperature inside, I can't tell you. One of these days, the USB C with another phone and the, the thermal camera, but just give me time. And that's still going to be difficult. But when you have the lid, the top and the bottom on this, this will stay warm and keep the heat inside the radio, which will help prolong the age of the radio. All right? Or, you know, its usefulness. Because when they get really, really cold, you turn them on, you start cranking on them, turning the volume up, getting hot quick, that's where you have issues. But the surface mount is way, way, way more reliable than the through hole. Okay? So now that we see that we're, we're pulling like a half amp, trying to keep the glare out of there. We're going to start all the way down, a couple of watts, and uh, we're drawing 3 amps. Yes, the MOSFETs draw more. But what I'm going to do is turn this up while it's fully modulated to draw just right at 5. Okay. So it's like almost 10 continuous. Right. And uh, 30 PEP. Stroke it. And we're at 5 amps. So I'm going to take this 5 amp fuse. I've been asked, okay? So we've got this down to a science now with the radio documented etc so the process can be repeated over and over yet yeah, it, it takes some time the biasing gate voltages and some updates with the radio there's a 5 amp fuse okay let's remove this oh it came out of a it's one of these Running off of five amps. Kill the talk back here. Now this thing is running so much cooler than the factory tunes, and also with the uh, Palomar 2030s, much cooler. Of course, there's a lot more that's got to be done, but it's working great. As you can see, I'm. I'm hammering on it. Anyone, any reputable tech that's out there is probably looking at this saying, how the hell are you doing that hard drive? That looks awesome. Yeah, not bad, huh? Okay, well, time. Time and test equipment. Alright. I forget what it was. It was like six or something like that. Now, it kind of amazes me that the fuse ain't blowing. But it is, yeah, it's getting hot on my fingers, okay? But that goes to show you it will run with a perfect SWR with the 5 amp fuse. So if that fuse is down by your circuit breaker and you're using the factory wire, and you're not twisting wires together with black tape, you're soldering all the connections together, it's going to work. I wouldn't talk on this like 100% duty cycle or even 50% duty cycle wide open. But like I showed you, I got a 5 watt key, 30 PEP, change trucks or whatever, it's going to do it all day long. 50% duty cycle, a little bit of air. You're going to want some air. Alright? 5 amp fuse. What does it sound like? Oh, this is going to be a standard in uh, all my radios. Just wait till you see some more of the videos. I might show you something on this one. They're doing awesome. Okay. Well, the squeal can sit right there, but there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's with the static audio. And you know it's going to squeal, so I can turn the volume up so you can hear it. Let me change the mic. 
655s and the 955s. The 955 has the biggest advantage over spectral purity, waveform, AM and sideband, temperature, etc. Audio 78910, break, 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 let me back away so you can uh, actually hear it, the radio, and not my voice coming through the camera. There we go, audio, break, 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 I can't help the squeal, it's that close, you know what I mean? And uh, no echo at all right there, and you turn it on, you can hear the difference, even when you just turn it on. Audio 78910, break, break, break. Notice the peak ratio is nice and tight. I'm going to turn it back up. Once you pinch and clip, flat top, it's nothing but heat, wasted power. You guys, and some of you guys I talk to, you're not catching on. I mean, if you pinch, clip, in any form of distortion, you're getting out less. The meter reads more, but you're getting out less. All right, there's a wide open power, 7, 8, 9, 10, break, 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 audio. Yeah, perfectly natural. Sounds good, doesn't it? All right, where are we at? 11 minutes in? Okay. Let me get rid of this. You guys ready for this shit? <laughs> if you didn't watch it this far, you didn't, you're not going to see this part. But if you stay tuned in long enough, I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. And I'm sure we've shown quite a few things so far on the bench like that. But, uh, here. Plug the tear back in. Let me put the fuse on, or the fuse cover on this, while this positive wire is still exposed. These little radios in the default setting, that's your SWR meter also. Notice how it changes to 1.0. <coughs> well, that's my bench. Okay. Actually, that's been on the antenna. Yeah. I just looked over there. That's why we had the noise. And the bench. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Now, back on the antenna. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over there and I'm going to do something <laughs> that's uh, usually completely unheard of. And for a technician to do it that really loves radios, it's like really strange to hurt one of our babies. So I'll watch everything. You'll see it happen. I'm going to leave the coax connected, <clears throat> but I'm going to turn this off the antenna. I have a position for that. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I have something in my throat. <coughs> Sorry, that's a 5.7, 5.8 SWR. Okay. Now, this radio will just go into its safety mode with nothing connected to it. All right. Now I'm going to let's see <clears throat> short it out. Get the drift. So we can get the face of it in there. Two hands here. You see over there? And key it. Okay. And that should show up. That's keyed. You can hear it through my other radio. Dead short. Crazy, huh? Now. Off the antenna, just so we can see everything here and what's going on. Set your stopwatch. It's modulated. 
notice how it's flat topping and everything's all screwed up looking. Here, watch. See? It's a 6 to 1 SWR. Did you set your stopwatch? Cool. What do you want to talk about? Let's see, we're 15 minutes, 25 seconds into this video. Everything is pretty much factory set in the, in the settings on this radio. So it should kick off at 3 minutes. What do you think? Is it going to blow up, start smoking? Let's play some bets. What do you think? I bet it's not. Make sure you can see everything here. Pretty crazy, huh? Now, there are different settings for SWRs on here. This one's factory set. So, if you did have a dead short and a complete open, like no coax, it'll just unkey and go into like a default. So, this is simulating a screwball, screwed up antenna system if I ever seen one. There it is. Okay. I didn't time it yet. I didn't even look at my stopwatch. I got another video from the very first time I did this. But I didn't really like that video. I figured I could add more to a video to show a few other things on the amperage draw, etc. I, uh, I don't have my amp gauge connected to it. So it would probably draw more and probably blow the fuse. Or this is 10 amp max. I'm not going to blow my meter up. Eric Lewis, you did an awesome job on these. It's really cool what can be done. They're, they're different. It requires some work. And these radios especially to produce a decent waveform. Keep them cooler. And uh, the 955s, the 655s, they're, they're impressive and really impressing me also with Max Mod and Palomars. I'll, I'll do another video after the first. You know, we'll, we'll see how long they actually take to detonate a, a short and open. That's with that uh, General HP 40. You know, that video with the fire extinguisher. Now we're 17 minutes in. And it's still going, as you can see. It's getting warm, okay? It's getting warm. Boom, okay? It's not blown, I'll do it again. Is that a trip or what? I've never seen anything like that before. I don't want to just sit here and abuse it like that anymore. I hope you get the drift. And just trying to do this at home. No, I'm not going to give out all the settings and what's done. I'm not here for that. I'm here to pay my bills and build you guys some ass kicking radios. You know, reliable radios. So I hope some of this was educational. You had to get in touch with me on Facebook. It's hard drive. Down by the Rio Grande. If you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first. And now look. See what it is? As an instructor, as always stated to the students, you pay attention to the date and the time and the direction you're traveling. The blue signs, the green signs, they all mean something. You know, on ramps, exit ramps, state parks, people traveling. I'm not trying to be a preacher. Got a lot of miles, no accidents. <clears throat> so safety first, okay? Grandma, grandpa, nieces, aunts, uncles, and nephews are going to be out there again. Traveling around. Looking right, smacking the kid behind him. Or behind him in the back seat. Arguing, whatever. Be safe out there. You know, you use your radio. Say, hey man, there's some crazy woman over there beating the hell out of her old man. Not looking where she's going. And at least you can use your radio to tell people about her, right? So you can avoid them. And get out the exit before them or after them. Hey... So and so, what exit? So is the exit number at mile marker? Blah blah blah. Now I'm talking too much. Ain't that some cool shit? <laughs> I'll keep the original video 
because it totally amazed the shit out of me. Hope y'all enjoy. Catch y'all later. 163 down by the Rio Grande. At 5 amps it'll perform. Later. <laughs>